Hello and welcome to the second part of uh, the 3D tap modeling tutorial. Uh, in today's lesson we'll be creating the bowl and uh, the glass. On the last tutorial we created a tap and um, this will be pretty much a continuation um, on those lessons. Now let's head straight to Studio Max. I'll close that. Close that. Now this is the tap we created last time. Um, unfortunately, I lost my uh, initial model for that tutorial, so I've had to use the original one uh, that I created earlier. Now um, we'll start off by creating the bowl. I'll be using a simple technique so that um, any beginner can understand it quite easily. So straight away, let's go to create. Uh, go to shapes then line and just uh, sketch out any shape you like but try and uh, match mine slightly so just like that uh, go to uh, your modifier panel and select lay now you can either search for the, for the modifiers this way or you can just type uh, the beginning uh, of that the beginning of the name and then when you click that um, your form should look something like this uh, or maybe um, it will come out um, as a full ball already but if not just click here to um, to display the axis click on axis and just drag it something like that and that already um, shows the shape of our ball if you come here you can see uh, what we've just created now uh, go to go to your modifier panel and uh, select shell you can have a, a search for it or just type in sh you display it once that's applied it gives it a, a bit of body now see what we have in there uh, if you've got something similar to adjust it just go back to the line and uh, actually we might just use the lathe itself go to the axis and uh, drag it maybe to where it is drag it to, drag it to the end until it reaches there um, I'll show you how to fix all these little faults in later tutorials now once we've got that as you can see um, it's called sharp edges so to, to to remove those just apply the mesh smooth tool or the turbo smooth but I normally use the mesh mesh smooth um, it's going a bit more softer you can increase the iterations to make it uh, smooth uh, I've set my iterations to two and then I'm going to drag my ball just uh, in front of my tap or something like that and then drag it down slightly and then that looks okay so that's what we have so far and in terms of the glass we'll use the same method once more go to create shapes line and then just sketch out the cross section of the glass Maybe something like this. Uh, and then just click it maybe here. Uh, right click to let go. And then go to the modifier panel again. Select lay. Click. Enter. Now we'll go to the axis. And just uh, drag that out up to there. See we've got our glass. so far um, the bottom is a bit it's a bit wide so we can fix that by going back onto our line and into the vertex and just drag that in a little bit maybe something like that when you go back to the lathe uh, the bottom looks all right now okay uh, with that we're gonna apply the the shell modifier also I want to do 
maybe we can make it a little bit smaller going to 0.1 and that's gone the thickness is not so much also apply the mesh smooth on that um, set the number of iterations to whatever makes you feel comfortable but be careful if you go uh, over three uh, your computer may slow down um, we just drag that over as well and uh, that's what we have so far now to create the base that's quite simple uh, just grab the box and drag it up up to maybe here and then um, to see where your models stand uh, you just go either on the left or um, the front view this way you can adjust their positions a bit more so just make sure they sit properly I think that's alright but that's pretty much what we have so far and then um, this here you can either you can either drag drag it down or just click on that go to editable poly select the vertices and just drag it in and go back that's okay so that's pretty much what we have in terms of our models all that's left now is applying the materials and uh, doing the final render I uh, hope this lesson uh, was helpful. If you've got any questions, just visit um, www.esperant.org and uh, I'll be happy to answer your questions in more detail. Thanks for watching.